I still have uh, my guests with me. Uh, I would like to rope in Major Shah on this. Now, sir, uh, since 1949, the Army Day Parade has been taking place in Delhi. Now, this is the first time it's taking place in Bengaluru. Sir, what is the significance of it? How significant it is taking place in Bengaluru? Okay, uh, Vidar, as you rightly brought out, you know, in 90, after the partition of India, when uh, after the freedom struggle, when the, the partition took place and India became independent, General uh, Francis Roy Butcher was the commander in chief. That time he handed over the command to to uh, Field Marshal Kariappa. That time he was the Lieutenant General. He had, he was the first commander in chief on 15 January 1949. And since then, every year we used to celebrate the Army Day at the Army Parade Ground in Delhi. In fact, I had the honor of doing the commentary for that on 15 January 9, uh, 2008. In fact, so now it has been shifted to Bangalore. Which is fine, which is a good sign actually, because it is like the reach would be wider. The grand celebration that we have, we have our Army Day Parade, we would be having eight marching contingents, we would be having a cavalry contingent, a horse contingent from the Army Supply Corps. We would be having fly pass, as you rightly brought out, of Rudra helicopters of the Army Aviation Corps. We would have the regimental band over there at the Madras Engineering Center at the War Memorial. General Manoj Pandey is going to be taking a salute. So people should know outside Delhi as well about the Army Day celebrations and it is a very, very good sign. The unit citations would be brought in. In fact, my unit, the regiment I served in, 170 medium regiment, they have they have received an award. In fact, a uh, gallantry award, Sierra Medal and Chief of Army Commendation Cards and you know, such awards are given on the Army Day. It's a matter of great pride for us, very, very prestigious. Just yesterday, we had the Veterans Day. The, uh, for us, for people who are not in service anymore. And now we have the Army Day. It is of great significance. And the very fact that for the first time ever since 1949, it's been brought out of Delhi, it only shows that more exposure has been given. And it only, and people who should have a wider reach and people should know what the Army is all about. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Indeed, Major Shah, you just heard the Army Chief talking about the Army and the Army Day of 2023 and the new era that had started wherein it's now shifted to Bengaluru. Sir, um, what are, how has your, you have served in the Army in the past, sir, how has um, your part been, how, how have you seen the changes in the Army Day celebrations from the past that happened in Delhi versus now, which is happening in Bangalore? A very interesting question, uh, Fida. It takes me back to nostalgia, especially in the year 2008, which is very, very special to me because I had done the commentary myself on the Army Parade Ground and at the Chief's residence, where General Deepak Kapoor was the chief on, on top of a hill, uh, on top of a, of a tree. There was a stage which was set on the 15th January 2008 about Deepak, General Deepak Kapoor's residence, where I, I had come to Delhi at that time from Nagaland to uh, to lead the Assam Rifles marching contingent for the Republic Day Parade. But I was on deputation to the Assam Rifles. But because uh, the Assam Rifles is part of the Home Ministry, not of the Defence Ministry, we do not march on the Army Day. So I took the opportunity to announce on the treetop at that time when the President of India was there, the Prime Minister was there, the Defence Minister was there, Defence Secretary was there, the Three Service Chiefs was there, Air Marshal Arjun Singh was there. So they were the top brass was there. And I said, that why is it that only a gentleman officer leads the parade every year? Why can't we have a lady officer also to come forward and lead the contingent? And I do not mean to take that pair of this, but what I'm trying to say is, somewhere the voice went on in the universe, and in 11 years later, in 2019, we had Major Khushbu Kanwar leading the same contingent that I had led of the Assam Rifles. So the, uh, the Army Day is celebrated a few days before the Republic Day on 15 January. And then let me tell you, for the Army, the celebrations are grand. Yes, we have a parade at the Army where we celebrate as the chief takes a salami. But then Army Day is celebrated in every uh, city, every station because and we greet everyone a happy Army Day. It is something to rejoice and something to really feel happy about. And how they've changed the first time you're seeing it in Bangalore. I'll tell you a very small anecdote once again. I'll quickly close by saying that, you know, Field Marshal Karippa, when his son was in the Air Force, he retired as an Air Marshal, which is the highest ranking officer after the chief, that is. So he was taken as prisoner of war in Pakistan in 1965. 
and that time general musa was the chief of the army staff and general ayub khan was the president of pakistan at that time so general ayub khan had served under field marshal karepa because we spoke about field marshal karepa just now and telling this to you very interesting and he sent the pakistani ambassador in delhi to field marshal karepa's residence saying that oh we did not know he is your son we would like to please him yeah. and uh, the response from field marshal karepa was all indians are my sons look after them well and my son should be treated at par mm -hmm. with any other yeah. principal for and uh, that that is that was field marshal karepa and so i really honor and the the fact in fact i interviewed uh, field yeah. marshal uh, air marshal karepa a few days back and yeah. he told me this entire story it was very very interesting exactly major shah uh, in i think major shah has already said whatever had to be said on the matter